Here is our project for today. This is the Speed Engineering 07 to 13 Silverado long tube and Y pipe kit. So we are going to be stuffing that in my buddy's truck and we will be going from there just to see what we're working with. Our 2012 Silverado crew cab. All right, so this is the driver's side of the motor. Um, started getting bolts out of the manifold. These are actually coming out pretty easy, 13 millimeter. Uh, we've already got the plugs or the plug wires off and we actually needed a deeper socket that surprisingly I didn't have last night to break it loose at the uh, manifold. Um, passenger side, it is off. It is disconnected from the main part of the body. Uh, we got underneath there last night, disconnected the, uh, the Y pipe stuff to the rest of the exhaust. Uh, intake tubes pull off. Everything's kind of out of the way to access stuff. So we are fixing to climb, jack this thing up, climb underneath it, get this uh, Y pipe off. We're gonna have to drop the K member, or not the K member, but the cross member for the transmission, get the factory Y pipe and everything out and move on from there. All right, so we've got the headers on the truck bolted up. The driver's side header will come through the top. There's a little bit of fishing that you kind of have to do. It does fit. The passenger side, on the other hand, it does have to come up from underneath, but it's still, you get the truck up high enough, it goes in. Uh, I am really impressed with the fitment and quality of these speed engineering headers. We've uh, got the, old Y pipe and everything out and we're fixing to start banding up the rest of it. The rest of it's all up underneath. I'll get some pictures of that here in just a second. So we have the long tube headers installed. The Y pipe is installed. Everything's buttoned up and bolted up. Did plugs and wires on this thing. We went with a set of the Taylor plug wires, uh, NGK TR55 plugs, gapped at 58. Top end's all put together, bottom end's all bolted up. Doing some tune on it to uh, take the DOD off and such. So stick around, we're gonna get ready to start this thing up here in a second. Doesn't sound bad, first start up. by Black Widow. When you're going ahead and doing the long tube install on these trucks, uh, you do get rid of the catalytic converters. Um, they do make Y pipes and X pipes, things like that, that do have a high flow cat on them. These are not, they're what they call an off-road X pipe or off-road Y pipe. Um, in Oklahoma, we don't have inspections for stuff like that. So if you live in states that have high emissions testing, stuff like that, you know, better better keep your stuff around to swap it back or go with a high flow cat. I know a lot of, from what I've seen in a lot of the forums, um, you know, even if you turn off some of the codes, it does throw some codes. If there's codes present in the ECM, it'll, you know, fail you for your, for your emissions test. Um, so we did have to get in there and turn off a bunch of the rear O2 sensors because they're just monitoring catalysts stuff so i think there's about four four to six codes for the rear o2 sensors uh bank one sensor two bank two sensor two and i think there's like the heater circuit the voltage high and low etc etc best way to do is just start it up see what codes pop up you know and if it does pertain to those bank 
those bank one sensor two, bank two sensor two, that's your rear O2 sensors. Then you can go into your tuning software, whatever platform you want to go with and turn those off. Like I said, we live in Oklahoma. We don't have to worry about that stuff here. But if you do live in a state that has emissions testing, definitely check with your local law and, and statutes and see what, what you end up needing to do for that. Most of the time, they're going to tell you, you need to have cats or you can't modify your factory exhaust. Go figure. So anyway, just want to throw that out there to you. So anyway, give me a thumbs up on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. See what you think. Y'all guys have a good one, and we'll catch you next time.